For her needs. What a crazy school? We don't use the C word. Contact. Profanity! <laughs> <laughs>
that's really your entire explanation for that. Yeah, pretty much. Jesus, it's a girl thing, okay? Like, like periods? <laughs> yes, Roger. It's a girl thing, like periods. Jesus, I was just asking. Speaking of girl thing, Lawrence, look who just walked in. Steph, that is completely irrelevant. Why would Lawrence even care about that? I should probably talk to her this time. You probably should. I should definitely talk to her. Yes, I agree. I still don't understand what's going on here. She's right there, Lawrence. Maybe I don't like her that much? You don't? Well, if I did, I might do something about it. Lawrence, you wrote her name all over the desk. Okay, that was one day. Lawrence, <laughs> <laughs> you did? Oh, man. That is seriously weird. Why would you ever write a girl's name on the desk? <laughs> well, because I... She's... I kind of really oh, just never mind. Lunch is almost over soon. Stacy. I, I need to get some air. Are you okay though? Yeah, I'm just gonna go outside before class. Good luck, Lawrence. Wait, what about me? Why don't I give you luck? Yeah! <laughs> that. Whatever, man. I don't get it, and I don't need to get it. Screw you both, I'm awesome. <laughs> I have no idea what that is, so I assume not. <laughs> That's just trying to help me out. Man, she's always helping me out. Take some goddamn initiative. Want to know why nobody here fucks with me? Because you scared them? Yes, and also initiative, which I had and you don't, so seriously get some. I don't know, Roger. I just have never been experienced with this kind of thing. You know, all my life I've always grown up in a kind of What are you doing? Nothing strange or suspicious. Okay, well, can you stop? You know, hypothetically, if I was doing anything, I would. Whatever. It's just, it's always going to be kind of reflexive for me, and I've never really gotten used to it. Well, God damn it, what are you doing? I'm an orc lord! I'm going to marry you and steal all your rings! There's only one thing. Well, I'm an even better orc, so I'm going to steal all the rings, too! <laughs> I'm evil! Yeah, and I'm going to get to her, too. See ya. His problem is you just hold it all inside. <laughs> hey, you a kid. Uh, yes? Were you in Kevin's first period of class? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, what happened to him? I mean, I saw him go in there. Do you realize? You won't get any answers out of me. Uh, no, no, I, I just want okay. to... Okay, okay, fine. Fine, I did it. All right, I messed up to McCarthy. I told him that I was being bullied and I asked him to help. So you're going to beat me up? Just do it! Uh, okay, <laughs> thanks. Let's get out of here. Bro, calm down. Fucking bro. Why is it so hard? Hey, Lawrence. Hey, Lawrence. Hey, Feelings. And on your 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 vulgar thingy. It's called a 
dick, bro. <laughs> Please stop using foul language. Fuck, 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 me, fuck. Oh, now you've done it. You've gone and wrestled my Jimmy. <laughs> Extra crawdads, like lots 
monsters. <laughs> Some guys came by, they were douchebags. Don't you see no problem? 
problem? Is calling these other students Bolgen names? Not particularly. <laughs> Und what exactly is this? Seduce me at sunrise.
I would thought it'd be nice to come in here and bring you some coffee, but apparently that's not appreciated. So as of tomorrow, no more coffee. Wait! Do you really mean that? I might. Well then, well then I'm sorry. This is a lot of time. I have a temper sometimes, and well, it just gets the best of me. I think you're forgetting a few words. Thank you for the coffee, Mr. Fox. You are so welcome, Mr. McCarthy. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Did you want more cream? Two cups is fine, Mr. Flowers. Thank you. Do you want more cream? Uh, do you want coffee again? Uh, actually, Seth here is a lot of... Excuse me! I... Seth is... Just, just one cup. Please. Oh, look at how light she is. God! Damn it, Mrs. Flowers! Mr. McCarthy, you control that temper of yours right this minute, mm. or Seth and I will have to leave. Steph is here because she is in trouble. She attacked another student. Physically attacked her, maimed her even. Is this true? I don't know about the maiming. Yes. I did attack her. And are you sorry? Sure. We'll see she's sorry. Oh, good enough. <laughs> you are hereby expelled, what? Miss Ramirez, attacking another student the day after I announced that no bullying will be tolerated. No. I, I know kids who really don't, they don't like that to, to think about the, the consequences of their actions. But this is, this is just too far. I'm having the paperwork drawn up as we speak. You are. This is what I mean, because they work for the You can't be serious. Oh, but I am absolutely serious, young lady. Well, where am I going to go? I wouldn't worry about that. There are plenty of schools in the district designed for students like you. Send me to a problem school? If I <coughs> a problem school, you mean a institute for behavioral intervention, then yes. Judging by your record here, it's not much of a stretch. On my record. It was one slip up. One. You can't do this to me. You expect me to go sit next to gangbangers and prostitutes? Oh, one slip up? Yeah. Do you mean now or the time with your friend Angela? Because that was much worse. And that colleague Owens ruled that because it happened off of school property, it was none of our business. And I always disagreed with Owens. Nevertheless, it's, it's true. I'm, I'm sure there are worse behaved students than you, but you were the first to break the new rules, and you'll be the first example. It's not fair. It's perfectly fair, Mr. Ramirez. You got in trouble. You'll get the consequences, and everyone will behave, behave better for it. Now, if you don't mind, while we're waiting on that paperwork, I'm going to call your parents. No, please! I don't, I don't know what they'll do. You should have thought of that before you attacked another student. Don't touch that dial, Mr. McCarthy! I don't have a dial. <laughs> get the hell out of my way! No, you get the heckity heck out of my way! <laughs> Okay, get your hands off of her, Mr. McCarthy. I'm not touching her. Get your metaphorical hands off of her, Mr. McCarthy. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> no, better not expel her. I need to get late. I'm not <laughs> going to have sex with you. See, look how hard this is, even without you messing up my game. All right, that's it. I've had quite enough of all this vulgar behavior in my office. All three of you sit down at once. Sit down! Now, Mark, Nigel, explain to me not only why I shouldn't expel Steph, but why I shouldn't also expel both of you. Who'd expel? Oh, very possibly, Nigel. You can't just expect to waltz into a principal's office, swear at him, and get away scot free. What do I want for? I don't care. Mr. McCarthy, what? I can explain. I can explain why you should not expel me and why you should not expel Steph by proxy. What's your <laughs> Mr. McCarthy, I don't think you understand that I am an asset to your school. No, I am an asset to the entire educational system. I am an asset to the cognitive development of every other student here, and I'm prepared to defend that statement. Mark, you have a grade point average of 0 0.4. You have been suspended eight times, three of those for criminal offenses, which technically count as felonies. I, uh, frankly, I'm, I'm astonished that not only have you not been expelled, but that you aren't currently in juvenile detention. Exactly, Mr. McCarthy, and therein lies my asset to your learning community. What? How many times have you heard teachers say such things as, do your homework or you'll end up like Mark? Oh, How many times have your students reacted in fear to my unpredictable, sexist, racist, homophobic, and otherwise hateful nature? <laughs> I dare to say, Mr. McCarthy, that you are associated. That as long as I am present at your learning institution, your students will associate any bad grades they receive in my life and my behavior. For 
provide an aversion that will ultimately place them in a higher echelon of society. This can't be happening. I can't be actually listening. So, you're making the argument that you shouldn't be expelled because you're so, so poorly trained. Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> That's all I need to hear. Up my eyes. Hey! Honestly, I don't even need to look at your record. You've never misbehaved once in any way imaginable ever. Oh, so explain to me, boy. Explain to me why you shouldn't be expelled. Uh, well, oh, well. Yes. I, I think Very good. Like, I am. You <laughs> almost got it. <laughs>
starting on the French Rev Liberty, Egality, Fraternity. Oh my Lobster. Don't call me a lobster. 
Did I just hear something there? Something angry? I said stop calling me a lobster. If you are mad enough, bro, I can't take you seriously. Stop. Lawrence the Lobster, it sounds like a Sonic the Hedgehog character. I'm glad you're in the next game. What are your power be, Lawrence? Hiding in your shell. Stop calling me a lobster, alright? Right. What do you want me to do, huh? What constitutes of giving someone a backbone? Well, ideally, I'd prefer if you fought for Steph. But, you know, given that that's not gonna happen, stop looking like a little bitch. And, um, uh... Let's get that girl over there. What? Damn it, man! The amount of times you have said that word in the past 30 minutes! Oh, you heard me! Now, I didn't get it because I am a dumbass, but I get it now. You are into her. You really just got that now. Shut up. Also, ask her out. Also, stop you, goddamn monster. Okay, for the record, I'm not the one with the red face. You're defunding like a little bitch. You know what? Fine, if I did it to make you happy, I would enjoy it, yes. And I'll do it. You will? IRL? Yes, in real fucking life. <laughs>
Do you really want to go out with a girl who would say something like that, even if everything she knows and loves is falling apart? I guess not. No, you don't. And finally, um, she made you feel like a rapist because, I don't know, uh, girls think that all guys want is, is sex, even if you have legitimate feelings for them. I mean, it's not their fault. I mean, society it tells them that all guys want to do is, is, is stick their dicks in <laughs> and, and they don't care about who they're sticking their dicks into. <laughs> you see, Mark understands. And <laughs> understand and like as a person. Hey, you good? You good now? Okay. You're not really. All good. right, you're good. You want to join my glorious revolution? Damn it, Roger, Steph is gone, and the only reason I gave a damn about my reputation at the school just told me she thought I was disgusting. So, yes. Give me that goddamn that I said I can't. Holy shit, they got her. Got who? Who do you think, you morons? What the hell is going on in here? <laughs> Roger, Morris, don't yeah. touch me! <laughs> now, you know, you could have gotten here faster, Mr. Sure. Bro, we're not give directions, bro. Who's got my phone? I can't find someone's house without GPS. Bro, get in the lab, bro. Steph, Steph, you're back, my beautiful angel rainbow flower. You're back. Steph, the girl I completely objectified. No, it's just as a human being. You're here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I asked you both not to talk to me at some point. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you did. Yeah, me too. Steph, my darling, <laughs> I will show you that I respect your desires by bowing down to your every wish. No, if, if you don't want to be with me, then I, I will love you from afar. <laughs> In silence. <laughs> I'm not going to force you. You are really having trouble with this, bro. Unlike him, I'm not a faggot. Let's hook. <laughs> Do you guys have lipstick on your faces? It's war paint. <laughs> so, yes. Technically. But what is the Revolution! <laughs> Wait. We're seriously letting her back in here. I thought you were kidding. Uh, yeah, I mean, she was unjustly expelled. And you know how revolutions take deeds of justice. No. No. What's done is done. She's staying out of this goddamn school, or I am. Well, you know what, Stacey? Fuck you. Fuck you and your perfect little ring of friends. We're not perfect, Seth. But we're not like you. We don't do the things that you do. We don't betray our friends and then fuck over their entire lives. All right. Everyone in this room is finding out what Steph did right now. <laughs> we're just going to assume that Stacy's a bitch. <laughs>
What is she doing? You don't get to know. Seth, why would we even do something like that? Because she was better than me. She was prettier. She was smarter. Everyone liked her. I was always around her. And no one liked me. No one. I knew it. I was mad. I was mad because of that and because of my parents. And no one would talk to me. And school counselors are bullshit. You know that, Lawrence. And I hated it. I hated that someone could be so perfect. And I wasn't. I got angry. I, I didn't want her to be perfect. I didn't want him. So you lied. No. So you try to ruin her life. No. She was just, just talking about how great she was, and I just, I just got angry and slipped out. I wasn't trying to ruin her. Too fucking bad. You could have said something. You could have stopped it. Steph, you really I know! know. You're sorry. What a joke. Steph. Are you really doing this for me? Do you really think I deserve all of it? Well, you know, when I started it, I thought you did. <laughs> <laughs> Steph, it just doesn't sound like you. You're always encouraging and helping me about your outing. Don't stick your dick in crazy. Out! We're your rule of the moment, asshole. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. yeah. Mm. What? Yeah. Yeah, finally. No. No, no, bring him here, you morons. Where else would you bring him? <sighs> all right. All right, all right. Break, break it up. Enough lifetime drama. We got the what? Wait, you what? what? Uh, they McCarthy, McCarthy, we got him! Oh, he barricaded himself in his office with his desk. But, uh, you know, he took some clever orchestration, uh, a couple of football players. But we got him. <laughs> They're bringing him here now. Yeah! You've legitimately kidnapped Mr. McCarthy! <laughs> no, you see, because technically, we are not taking him off of school property. That's not how kidnapping laws work, though. It's not? You're only hurting your future <laughs> self by doing this! Don't you realize your brain will develop properly? Give me that lipstick. <laughs> you think there won't be consequences for what you've done? You think I'll, you think I'll hesitate to expel every last one of you? <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty much. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, what are you kids doing? Leading a violent revolution. <laughs> Mocha, okay, Mocha. Thank you, Miss Flowers. Don't run. 
How does it feel to be crushed under the heel of the proletariat? How does it feel to be spat on? I'm sorry, you want me cream? Who? Raise your hand. You need cream for mocha? I guess if a, a car thief 
donates to charity, he's even too. Oh, maybe not, but if you accept Steph, it's just going to be me and Roger again. You won't just be punishing her. You'll be punishing us. We'd be ruined without her. But why? What is so important about her? I'm sorry, but I was just there. That's all I No, thought. you were always helping us. You helped me talk to Rachel, and I asked her out. How'd that go? Worse than I could have possibly imagined. <laughs> <laughs> but the point is, I did it, and you were there to help me and encourage you. Hey, do you remember that time when I couldn't make the first period and you brought in that essay for me? Or all those hours we spent talking because I felt lost a nerd like there was no one else like <laughs> Or all the crap that Roger did that you talked him out of because it seriously would have gotten him injured. You can't prove that. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, look at him when you're not here. Look at us. We have fucking lipstick on our faces. Lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> we Crazy. <laughs> we need to your heart. Please. We need step. Fine. Step and say. Really? You actually listened to what Lawrence was saying? Like you listened to Lawrence? Yeah. I, I guess I did. <laughs> well, hot diggity damn stand both back! <laughs> no. It's speech, bro. I don't know what to say. No, no problem. Okay, well, we're not normal. No. Wait a minute. Is this a heart-to-heart -heart conversation? <laughs> Was 
going to be. Mm. And you're happy you will die. They were attempting to take something seriously for longer than two minutes. So. <laughs> oh no, bro. I can be serious. Let's all sit down and be serious together. Alright. As I was saying, we're not normal, but I think that's for the best. I actually really do. Don't give me that non-conformist crap, Lawrence. I'd give anything to be like other people. I'd give anything to fit. People say it's worth it to be different. Totally not. Of course it is. No, she's right. What? It's not. It's not worth it to be different. I mean, it hurts. She's right about that. And the sad thing is, we're different and we don't have a choice. That's positive. Yeah, that sucks. Well, maybe it is positive. You're flip flopping. Okay, so, <laughs> we're different and it might not be for the best. We'll never make friends easily or get into relationships easily. But at the end of the day, we still sit there next to them. We sit down next to the people who don't have a problem being there. People who are attractive, who have friends and get along with everybody. We sit down next to them even though we don't have any of the things that they do. And I think that makes us badasses to like, actually though, a complete badasses. I thought that was just me. <laughs> You guys are serious downers. Yes, Roger, that was the point of the conversation. <laughs> Whatever. You know, I totally like saved you and the whole school by leading a violent, glorious, glorious revolution. <sighs> you come talk to me when you're ready to embrace the glory of that. I don't think he's going to change. Really <laughs> She was a substitute. She was someone else. I don't even know if I'm making myself clear right now. I do kind of love you. <laughs> Shit. Okay. <laughs> I'm guessing that we are two for two with the rejection. God, you're... Yeah, man, twice in one day, you get the worst. But I don't blame you. She's... she's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. No, she is. Let's go get her. What about Seth? No, she's good. Yeah. Guy time. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yeah. Let's go. I'm gonna do something. I've never done it before, and I'm never going to do it. 